Hey, sisters, come on in. Bring your Kool Aid, your cocktail, your water. Let's sit and chat with me. Who? This hood girl. Come on, y'all. Y'all ready? I'm ready. Come on in, y'all. Bring your Kool-Aid, your cocktail, your water once again. Come on and sit, chat with me. This hood girl to the hood. Y'all saw what we're going to be eating. Let's do this time. <sighs> y'all, I'm ready to eat. Y'all, this the... Oh, well, I'll tell y'all in a moment. Wait a minute. I made oxtails today. I haven't cooked oxtails since I was like 22 years old. So come on, y'all. Let's say prayers. Father God, thank you for this another blessed, blessed day. Thank you for divine mercies and grace. Oh, Father God, have your way in our lives, Lord. When we are quiet, speak to us, Holy Spirit. Are our steps in your word. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. In the name of Jesus, I pray. So for all those who are looking at me right now, God, bless them according to your righteousness, Lord. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. Y'all, let's toast. We are we about to eat some good stuff. So this is for good food. <laughs> so salute, salute. Let's sip, sip this good Water, y'all. I got some Louis. We, that's what I got, y'all. Some Louisiana hot sauce. Somebody is, uh, yeah, I got that, uh, loud music, y'all. Look at this goodness on this plate. Look at it, y'all. We got leftover dirty rice out of the freezer. We got oxtails baked with potatoes and carrots and then we have some macaroni and cheese right here y'all i'm ready i'm so ready let's get this uh hot sauce open it's a brand new bottle y'all i'm ready i should have opened it off the camera but who cares y'all i'm telling you man these oxtails I'm ready. Yeah, I want I want this on my rice though. Just a little bit. Not on my potatoes and carrots. How are y'all today? What are y'all eating on with me? The hood girl. Y'all, I'm salivating. Y'all see that? Mm. Y'all, you know, look at those potatoes. Take a bite. My nephew had called me and I told him what I was cooking. And uh, I told him I was about to put my potatoes and carrots in my pot. He said, Amy, you didn't put it in the beginning? No, because I don't want my potatoes to be overcooked because oxtails have to bake at least three hours. So for the last 45 minutes, that's when I put my potatoes and carrots. Mm. Mm. The texture, when you don't overcook it. He said, oh, because my sister put hers in with with the meat, no. And I thought, um, mm, I love cooked carrots. That is delicious. If they and I thought you haven't cooked oxtails for uh, all those years, I say just because I didn't cook oxtails after I was twenty two, don't mean I can't cook them. Mm. I can eat these potatoes and carrots and nothing else. That's good. Y'all, this dirty rice is from Christmas. I was looking, I was like, you know what? I'm not going to uh, make a whole nother pot of rice. I have dirty rice. And this is what it is. So what I'm doing, everything that's in my freezer for the last month or so, I'm going to be incorporating it in my meals because when I move, I don't like to move freezer stuff, y'all. I'm skeptical about that. So, uh, right now, I have minimal meat in the freezer. 
I have four more weeks before I got to sneeze, y'all. <laughs> that pep. <laughs> oh, bless me. Mm. Uh, I have four weeks to move, and uh, I have four Sunday meals in the freezer. Of course, uh, mm, that's good. My crabs and shrimp for five days. <laughs> mm -hmm. I only have two Fridays of that, though. Without ado, y'all, I'm just running my mouth. We got to tackle this oxtail, y'all. There you go. Look how pretty that is. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. Mm. That's good. Mm. Mm. When I got through seasoning, I let it sit for like five hours. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. I devoured that, didn't I? And then I put the beef broth in and uh, some uh, Jamaican brownie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is good. But you can't cook oxtails every week because they are hella expensive. I know this macaroni going to fall, y'all, so hurry up and get a bite. There you go. And everything is hot. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. This is another beautiful Sunday meal that I am really enjoying. This is like real southern food, okay? From the south side. Mm, that's so good. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all. Yeah. Mm, look how tender they are. Uh, hot though. Mm. Y'all still smoke? Damn. That's good. Just got keep that open, right? That's so good. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. That's good. <laughs> I did that, y'all. I did that. They sticky, too. I didn't forget that. Yeah, uh, I've had a great day. Yesterday I was out in the street. Y'all, this uh, pepper hot. Uh, it rained all day here. And I was in it. I'm talking about sheets of rain. Ooh. I wish y'all was here. This is good. I don't have a lot to talk about, but I want to talk about something. What was it? Something came to me. I should have uh, uh, written it down. Of course, I'm not dating right now. Right now, I'm focusing huh, on packing this stuff in this apartment. I'm almost done with the kitchen. I got to break my bar down. I know there's three levels of glass, so I have to be careful. Um, wrap all my alcohol bottles carefully. <laughs> Except for my vodka. Mm -hmm. Everything else is going in the box this week. And then... I'll tackle my bedroom. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is almost like a turkey neck. But it ain't no turkey neck, that's for sure. I got some of them in the refrigerator too. I mean, not in the refrigerator, in the freezer. I might bring them down next Sunday. It should I be alive. This is good. Wonderful meal. I mean, wonderful. Mm. Kind of get a little full. I'm all done with that rice. Man, this girl be eating. You know, I'm going to tell y'all something. Every time I think I've said this before. Every time I get ready to cook, I always pray over my hands. Man, if I had a kitchen, but I, I, if I had a kitchen, I want, I will only be open three days a week and it would just be my low bar. I think I told y'all that too. Mm hmm. Just low bar. I really did perfect that. Where these potatoes are so good. But that came out well here. Mm. Y'all remember in the seventies and eighties? Two things that black people had in their freezer was chicken wings and oxtails because those and a chicken liver. Cause those were the cheapest cheapest meal to buy. Now it's hell of expensive. Sometimes I'm glad it's mean because you know what? We all know now, I see in our financial statements, in our bank accounts, that our, everything has gone up. Even though I'm single and I only cook for myself, the amount of food that I cook on Sundays to last through the week. My grocery bill has climbed up. I'm going to tell you that. What does that mean? Mm. It's hella expensive. But you know one thing about it. God going to take care of you. His people. Damn, that's good. Mmm. Mm, I got a whole lot of carrots under there. Let's get them carrots. Mmm. Y'all want this bag? It's so good. Y'all saw that bread, huh, boy? Mmm. Mmm.
Mm. Mm. The only other thing I should have put on here is something green. I was thinking about green beans, though. I was like, I'm tired of cooking today. Mm, that's good. Whew. I'm full. Whew. But it's so good, y'all. I was looking at people yesterday with them um, Taco Bell wings. I'm not going to buy them. Mm -mm. Everybody has something different to say. Mm. I'll stick what I like, wing stop. It's a place called Flavors. It's a wing stop. It's a wing place here in Houston. I think they only have two locations. They got uh, some really nice wings, y'all. One of them is black pepper wings. Man, they are so good. Bourbon wings, they are so good. But, however, everything is going up. I looked at their menu uh, maybe four days ago. And uh, if you, well, last year, yeah, a year before, you can buy their eight-piece wing uh, dinner. And I think it was like $12. When I looked at their menu, I had to tell my sister, girl, flavors, eight-piece wing, now $17. My sister say, I wish I would. <laughs> So question, because all restaurants, everybody, every eatery has to raise the cost of food and we haven't uh, had a increase for inflation from our jobs, um, do y'all think after a time uh, all the eateries will have to close down because nobody has that extra money to support them. That's what I think. You know, everything that's happening right now, this is sticky. It is in Revelations, yeah. If you don't believe me, look in Revelation. Everything that's happening. I can't eat no more. You know, I know some of y'all saying you only have two potatoes and one piece of meat. I cannot, I cannot even stuff that in my body. But I tell you one thing, my, this, these uh, oxtails are sticky, almost like pig feet. Oh, I saw Kicking It With Lynn fry some pig feet yesterday. I haven't had fried pig feet before ever, but I've seen somebody else too do it. I don't remember who it was, but I remember hers. Oh, excuse me, and it looked good. Y'all, let's cancel this time. Oh, because we done eating. And you know, I can sit here and talk, 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 talk. Because we haven't talked about anything juicy for like a whole month now. You know, when I shut down dating then you know i love to tell my dating stories or whatever you call it but look y'all let's sing come on y'all ready i love y'all y'all know that right and i know some of you love me too
So I hope whatever you was eating was as good as mine. One day I want to meet some of you and eat together or like the Bible says, sup together. I really do. I really do. But y'all look here. Y'all will be with me when I move. Maybe I don't do vlogging and all that. Um, but y'all will see it. I will record some things because, <laughs> you know, I'm excited about a new brand new spanking place. It's brand new. Whew. So y'all, let's sing. It's time to say goodbye for now. We have another chance around on the other side. So whatever y'all do for the rest of this day, do it good, do it with purpose, and do it with what? Genuine love right here from your heart. Okay? Okay. I love y'all. Bye.